We must also be brave enough to reform military doctrine and practice. We do not face a confessional army on the traditional field of battle. No, we contend against mobile, elusive, irregular forces that disdain the normal rule of warfare. We must adjust accordingly to subdue the menace. This shall require a change in mindset, in strategy, in tactics, in equipment, and in gear. But your strategic objective, the democratic tranquility and prosperity of our nation shall never change. As Commander-in-Chief, I have given myself the following charge to deploy the entire machinery of state power to ensure security of our people and property in a just and democratic society. Under my predecessor, the armed forces worked tirelessly towards necessary reform to enhance combat, effectiveness, and operational capability. We must now pick the pace. The Commander-in-Chief, sir, distinguished invited guests, today's graduation ceremony formally marks the successful completion of yet another senior course. The students seated here have undergone 49 weeks of intense training and academic activities. A total of 291 students will be awarded the distinction of past staff course today. These include 152 Nigerian Army officers, 68 Nigerian Navy officers, and 45 officers of the Nigerian Air Force. Additionally, there are a total of 12 students drawn from the Defense Intelligence Agency, National Defense College, the Nigeria Police, the Federal Rural Safety Corps, the Nigerian Correctional Services, the Nigeria Customs Service, the Department of State Services, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps. <laughs> Respectfully invite the commandant, armed forces. Com God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Unnoticed, and someday the reward will follow. We are therefore confident that the graduates of this college will control an encouragement the college has received in recent times. His Excellency Senator Obasani.